the Ultimate Tank build in collaboration with Aquamedic. So I just got a coral shipment in, my second shipment from Aquamedic Live and Elite Reef um, that's also in Colorado. So uh, check them out. Uh, here is a link to their um, website and their uh, Facebook page. So make sure you check them out. Now, I haven't had time to dive in and see which corals are from Elite Reef and which ones are from Aquamedic. I will be doing a more detailed video on each coral, um, their recommended conditions like I did for my first coral shipment in um, probably in one or two weeks. Uh, once I, I haven't even had time to uh, place the corals everywhere where I want to put them, but Elite, uh, Elite Reef and Aquamatic Live sent me some nice stuff uh, this go around. So I have the flow off, and so I'm just going to show you guys what I okay, got. Okay, guys, so here are the corals along the front of the tank that I just got in today and acclimated. Um, these right here, these three that you see right here, um, which is a chalice and two ultra eight cans. Um, those are not new. Uh, those are the previous corals I got in. Uh, this is another new one right here. Let's see if I can get it in focus. And those are all from, uh, these are all from Aquamedic and Elite Reef in Colorado. All right, and that's not it. I also have this one right here. And so as I said, I'm gonna send you guys another video or make another video for you guys with listing everything. Uh, these are my hammer corals right here. Love hammer corals. And this is my new uh, rose anemone. Now, <laughs> the anemones never listen to me. I tried to place them uh, up here where he would be out of everyone's way, but he decided he wanted to be right here, so of course he's gonna force me to move uh, this hammer coral. I believe that's a hammer coral. And um, let's see, so uh, the other corals are still doing well. That I got in my first shipment from Aquamedic Live. And uh, where's some more over here? Now I did get a. If you guys remember, I, I about two weeks ago I did a video at Reef Shack, and um, he gave me these two uh, clove polyps, and he gave my wife some uh, corals for her tank too, uh, her nano uh, tank, and I'll show those at a later date. But these clove polyps, he said, I, I can't. I don't know the particular name offhand, but um, he said they're pretty rare or at least hard to get in Atlanta and uh, for me to take good care of them. So I'm trying. So now, yeah, I'm going to sit this right here to give you guys a little confession. I like to give you guys all my mistakes. So like I said, so you guys don't make them. So basically, I made a mistake about um, a week and a half ago. I was doing a video for you guys. It might have been the Santa a video. And so it was nighttime and I had to um, cut the lights back on in the tank uh, because of course they went off at night. So I put them on manual and um, after the video was over, I switched it back using the Kessel controller, uh, Kessel uh, spectral controller and put it back to quick set one. Now the problem with me putting it back to quick set one is I never set quick set one. I set quick set two. And um, so basically, for about a week and maybe two or three days, my aquarium was running on 5%. And so I lost uh, one of my new monopores. And I, I was so sad. So my monopores are, are not looking too good right now in the tank uh, because of that. But um, it, it was funny. I had someone over yesterday um, and he told me that he made the same mistake. Uh, but it was a little bit different. He had um, a highlight on. He was doing maintenance at night he needed the light to come on and then so after he was done he was so tired he went to bed and left the highlights on all night until the you know next day and better part of the day he said it just fried so much stuff in his tank so mistakes do happen um you know sometimes they, they're hard to um you know to be able to prepare for but um i'm glad you know the other corals in my tank are doing okay um and um i will have more videos for you guys coming up soon um another video that will be coming up 
Uh, this upcoming Thursday will be a video I'll be doing on Aquamedics um, Aquarium water testing. Uh, I did send my water in for testing as you've seen in the Santa video um, and or the Christmas video and I did get the results back. So I'm going to share those with you guys and then um, a week after that when we come back I will um, give you all the names of these corals and um, which place each coral came from. Uh, like I said, some come, came from uh, Elite Reef and the others came from Aquamedic Live. So big thanks to Aquamedic and Elite Reef for sending these corals in. And until uh, next time, guys, this is Ultimate Hog. Tank Build in collaboration with Aquamedic.